Hello and welcome to another video by myself Chris from Serena on a Budget. Um, it's my first video in a few weeks. Um, I've had a few things going on personally and just work-wise has been a wee bit manic. So I haven't forgotten about the third part of the Mexican series uh, looking at Querétaro. Um, however, I thought just as we're coming up to the mid-season break and the MLS, just as the, the Gold Cup's about to start, I thought I'd take a look at some mid-season budget buys in the MLS. So I've ranked them by uh, position as usual um, and I've gone with kind of like a cap of 0 0.035. Um, these are guys that are all pretty much starters. Um, I've used various filters to try and break this down um, but I've predominantly looked at guys that are starting as many games um, as possible. Most of them are over 90% starts um, and just to give you an idea of these, these are guys you can pick up cheaply, put in and start competing to at least get to the ETH um, and you never know what could happen um, from there. So without further ado, I will look at the MLS defenders. So I have five defenders here for you. Um, the, the way that I've ranked them is the same as we always do. Um, I've got their name, their last five average, the last 15 average their auction price and their market price. Now, I haven't done any expected prices because these are kind of, some of them might be slightly older players, some of them, um, so I haven't gone to the extent of being like, you know, this player could increase, this player could go down, you know, that sort of thing. I've literally just looked at their prices at the moment, where they're at and uh, what you could, you know, you could expect to get back from them. So I've got here, the first one is Dario Zuparic. Um, now he is the centre back for Portland. He's played 91% of the games as, as a starter, so he's missed one game, and uh, he's played 91% of the minutes. So he, when he's played, he's played every minute. He uh, has an average of 44 for the last five and 48 for the last 15. Now his price is quite cheap, um, 0 0.024 and uh, in the auctions and 0 0.025 on the market. You'll notice a lot of the time these are kind of close together. Um, if you have the ETH available, sometimes it is better looking at the auctions because A, you're going to get a 2021 card, um, so you'll get the increased boost, uh, the increased bonus boost on that. Um, I, however, on the market, you may be able to negotiate a deal down as well, but you might have to get a 2020 card. You just have to keep an eye on what bonuses you're getting with it, um, especially when you're looking just to try and break a threshold that, you know, that can make all the difference. So he uh, is a definitely, you know, a good one to look at. The one thing I would say about him is he's had five yellow cards so far. Um, so that could account for um, why he missed the game or he may be due a suspension for a game or so. Um, the next one I've got here is uh, Harrison Athul. He is the right back at Columbus Crew. Uh, now, he has had 91% of the starts as well, 88% uh, of the minutes. Um, does have an assist. He is 34, so again, you're not looking at a long-term buy here. You're looking at somebody you could get in, use as a, you know, in your in your SO5 leagues, um, to try and get to the thresholds. Or, as you can see by his average, you know, he's averaging 60, so that that could be somebody that could definitely kick on, uh, you know, any points totals you're looking at. So his last five 60, last 15 40, uh, 48. And his auction price and market price are both 0 0.032, which is about um, £55 at the moment, give or take. Now, I, for, for an average of 60, <laughs> you know, that's pretty solid to get that as, you, as your return there. Um, the next one is Jorge uh, Villafania. Now, he has a last five average of 51, uh, last 15 of 46. So he is playing above his average. Um, same price as a full, he is 0 0.032. Now he's 100% starts, he's played 98% of the minutes um, as the left back for LA Galaxy. So you do tend to find fullbacks can uh, can certainly score higher as you can see with the full and with him. Um, again, uh, the, both these defenders would be, would be good purchases at that price bracket. The next one that I have there is Tim Parker. Tim Parker plays for Houston Dynamo as a centre-back. He's an ever-present, 100% starts and 100% of the minutes as well. So he hasn't even been subbed out. 45 average, uh, 42 for the last 15. But again, look at the price, uh, 0.024 and 0.025, which is the same as Zaparic. Again, another centre-back. So you can see the centre-backs are slightly cheaper, but that's reflected in their, their potential for their scores. So... If you look, you know, if you are trying to squeeze every penny, you could probably look at the centre backs. If you're trying to push on just that wee bit, 
have a look at fullbacks, you probably will find better value there. The final defender that I've got listed is Luis Martins. Um, now, he is the left back for Sporting Kansas. Uh, he has played 100% of the of starts and 96% of the minutes. So, again, quite high scoring. But he's a left back and he hasn't been scoring quite as highly. Um, he has got 47 for the last five and 40 for the last 15. But his price is very, very cheap. Um, the, the last three day average for the auctions was 0 0.013. And uh, for, for the market price of 0 0.021. So you can certainly see there that there is, a, you know, there's there's a definite value um, in him. And I think, you know, again, if you were starting and you just want to try and build a squad, he would be one that you could you could look at right away to try and make uh, an impact onto your into your scores. So I'm going to look at the mid, uh, midfielders now. And again, I have five. I have. Uh, yeah, I have five in this one. Um, the first one is Roger Espinosa. Now, again, he is 34. However, he is from uh, Sporting Kansas. He's a midfielder, uh, or centre midfielder, sorry. Um, his last five average 54, last 15, 49. As you can see, 0 .031 uh, and 0 0.035 is the market price. So, um, he is a guy that I, I'd had tracked. Um, I ended up signing Dax McCarthy, which you'll see at the bottom here in the moment. Um, instead, I but he is a very, very steady scorer. Um, he has played 100% of the games. Um, six, uh, sorry, 85% of them as a starter, and overall he's played 79% of the minutes for that uh, for the season. Um, the next one, uh, if you are a Scottish football fan, you may recognise him. He played for Rangers for a season about a decade ago. Um, I think it was a decade ago. Well, uh, certainly, certainly a number of years ago. Um, Alejandro uh, Badoya. Average of 42 for the last five and 48 for the last 15. 0 0.025 um, is his price range at the moment. Um, again, 92% of the starts, um, he's missed one game, he's played a total of 89% of the minutes as well. Um, he plays for Philadelphia Union, one of the better sides as well, um, as a centre midfielder. So he could certainly be one that you could look at picking up um, quite cheaply. He's the cheapest of the ones that I've got listed here is in terms of market price. Um, the next one that I have has actually been one of the cheaper ones on the last uh, three day average. Alex Mayo, uh, 37 average, so he is quite low, he is kind of playing below himself at the moment. He um, is primarily a right winger, um, and that's usually reflected in the scores. The wingers are hit or miss, you know, they can they can have multiple assists in it, you know, in multiple weeks, but then they can also go through spells where they're kind of just there. Um, so that's kind of where he's been at the moment, 37, which is probably reflected in his last... Uh, his last three day average price. Um, fifth, last 15 of 45 though, so that's quite, you know, it's solid. It would get him a green score. Um, market price 0 0.032, which is quite high when you look in comparison uh, to what you can pick him up um, if you go th if you have Ether on hand and you can pick him up in the auctions. So I would definitely, you know, try and negotiate that deal, that price down. Um, it does seem a little high, maybe 25 would probably be fairer. Um, the next one is Joe Gaia, I think you pronounce it. Um, he does come up in the game as Joseph, so if you can't find him, if you search for Joseph, you'll find him that way instead. Last 5 and 15 average 43, so very consistent, and his price is also consistent, um, 0 0.028. Uh, so again, another solid player. However, if you're looking for solid and you're looking for the scores, and that's a little bit more, um, Dax McCarthy, captain for Nashville, 51 for the last five, 53 for the last 15. I think his last 40 um, is actually even 51 or 52 as well. So he is mega consistent. You know, as I say, he's the captain at Nashville. Um, 0 0.034 and 0 0.035, so it's pretty consistent. His price has gone up a little bit in the last couple of days, um, but that could just be because his average has increased there. So. If I was to pick two of the midfielders, I would probably lean towards Espinosa and McCarthy. Um, you could play both those and you could see there, I mean, that would average 105. Add your bonus on, you're probably talking about 111. So that's you halfway to the threshold with two midfielders. So worth having a look at those two lads um, and seeing if you could pick them up if you're looking to pick uh, pick up a, an MLS side on, on a low budget. 
Now, the last part of this is the forwards. As you know from the previous videos, and you probably know from looking at the market yourself, um, forwards are um, an expensive commodity. Um, so I've only got one um, that is fits in the criteria that I have for the rest of the the rest of the players. Um, I slightly adjusted it because you know I've got them for playing in the games, but not necessarily starting them. So the the only one that fits all the criteria was uh, Wondolowski from uh, San Jose, I believe, and his last five average is thirty five. His last uh, fifteen is thirty nine. 0 0.02 on the market at the moment. Now he is 37, I think he's actually turned 38 since his cards were issued. Um, so he's definitely not a long term buy. He has only, uh, he's played all the games bar one where he was suspended from a previous red card. Um, he started 25% of the games, played 44% of the minutes. So clearly, predominantly a substitute. But again, a forward who is going to score your points and not going to get you a DNP every week. Um, that could be the difference between getting threshold, getting to a card, you know, that sort of thing. Um, he has scored a couple of goals this season as well when he has come on, so there is that aspect for him as well. Now, there's one here that does fit the criteria, but he is much more expensive, um, and that's Dyer and Espria, one of my early purchases and early sales, which uh, boosted my portfolio quite considerably at the time. So he has a last five average of 46, a last 15 of 44. Um, he has played in all the games this season so far. He started 55% of them, 56% of the minutes. He's got three goals, and that's for Portland Timbers. Um, and that's not bad for a winger, to be fair. Um, it's good scores for a winger as well. Um, his price, 0 0.049. I don't think it's that bad, to be honest. I think that's pretty decent. He was much higher at one point. He's also been slightly lower. But I would say that that's quite a fair price for uh, for the score that you're getting back from a forward. Um I didn't realise it was quite as uh, quite as consistent. Um, so he's one that if you have got that wee bit spare, then it would be worth picking him up over Wondolowski. Um, obviously, it's significantly more of an investment, but I think you would probably find getting more back from him. Now, the last one I've got is a wild card. Um, I've put down Teal Bunbury. Now. He doesn't fit the criteria entirely. He's only he's got an average of thirty uh, for the last five, thirty-three um, for the last uh, fifteen. Um, at the market price at the moment, 0 0.025. I actually got one on auction the other day for 0 0.016. Um, he started nine of the last. Uh, sorry, he, he hasn't started. That's a lie. He's played nine of the last twelve games. He's only started 17% uh, of the games, played 27% of the minutes, so he does tend to come on as a late substitute, which is reflected in why his score is quite so low. However, the reason I've put him in here just now is he is going to likely get more game time over the next month or so. Um, Tajon uh, Buchanan usually plays ahead of him. He is away with at the Gold Cup with the Canada squad, so that really does open the door for Bunbury to get a bit more game time and potentially you know, more goals, and he is one that could certainly increase in value. I think there was only one below 0 0.04, and that was the uh, the one that I've, I've put down here. Now, again, it's a wild card, it's, a, it's one that could come off, um, but again, it would probably be short term, because I would expect Buchanan to regain his, uh, his starting place when he comes back from the Gold Cup. However, he would definitely be one that is worth having a look at at the moment. If you were looking to have something going um, whilst, you know, like so the J-League's gone and the uh, before the, the European season starts. So at that sort of a price bracket, worth having a look at. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm at with the MLS at the moment. Just, to, you know, some cheaper, cheaper options for everyone. Um, thank you very much for watching. It's a much shorter video than previously, um, which is what I actually intended them all to be. <laughs> it was about 15 minutes. Um, so thank you for subscribing to the channel. Um, if you've got any ideas for upcoming videos, feel free to send them over uh, on Twitter, um, at Surair on a Budget. If you haven't joined Surair yet and you're thinking about it, if you follow my link there, surair.com forward slash r forward slash surair on a budget, um, you will get a free card when you buy five cards from the auctions. So if you pick up five of these lads, you will then end up picking up uh, a free card from Surair, which you can then trade. 
I am going to be doing a giveaway shortly on uh, the Twitter page as well, as soon as I get to 500 follows. Um, I haven't quite picked the player yet that I'm going to use for it. I have got one in mind. I'm going to have to buy him off the market. Now, it's going to be one that's coming back from, either coming back from... Uh, from injury or it's likely to have a bit of a breakout season so at the moment it's leaning towards a breakout season one so I will keep you all posted on Twitter on that once I once I have the 500 follows um, but yes thank you for your time and I look forward to speaking to you all again soon take care